Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to use Windows 7 disk management to create a basic disk partition. I'm going to start by launching my control panel so I have access to system and security. I'm going to then click on system and security and then administrative tools and from administrative tools I'm going to double click on computer management. Inside of computer management I have disk management. I'm going to click on disk management and then we can take a look at what we have in disk management. There's two different views in disk management you can look at. Up here I can see I've got a C drive that's a simple layout that's a basic disk and it's an NTFS file system. This partition is healthy. It's also the system partition, boot partition, page file, active file, crash dump file, and a primary partition. Down here you'll see a different view. This is disk zero. It's a basic disk. It's a 50 gigabyte disk that's online. And you see here we've got a C drive that's 40 gigabytes that's NTFS. Over here we've got 10 gigabytes of unallocated space. If I want to create a basic disk, I need to go to my unallocated space, right click, and create a new simple volume. And then I'll click on next when the wizard pops up, and I want my simple volume size to be one gigabyte, 1024 megabytes, and I'll click on next. And then I need to assign a drive letter, and I'm going to do something goofy like X and then I'll click on next and I can format this volume with the following settings. I'm going to change this from NTFS to FAT32. I'm going to leave the allocation unit size as default and I'm going to give it a volume label I'll just call it BK1 and I want to perform a quick format then I'll click on next and I've got a summary page I'll click on finish and now my partition is being created and it's got a quick format and it's FAT32 and it's healthy. And that's how you create a basic partition on a Windows 7 computer using disk management. So I'm going to go ahead and close computer management and I am going to close everything else I have on my desktop and I'm going to go ahead and just launch Windows Explorer and you'll see now I have a C drive as well as the X drive and the X drive if I right click it and left click on properties, the X drive is 1 gig, 0.99 GBs. And that concludes how to create a basic disk partition in Windows 7 using disk management. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thanks for watching.